tonight on live, we have hypnotist Tiffany Snow in the building, Brian Gentry from the Donut Shop, and a musical performance by Kel Charney. From Barrel House by Gypsy Circus, this is... Fun and Friends Live! Woo! Like I said, first of all, we got a huge live studio audience tonight. Thank you all for being here. As always, uh, the comment section is on. It's live. That's why we're live. Hit it up. You know, put something in there. Zane's monitoring that. He'll let us know what's going on, and we'll uh, interact with you live. Uh, by the way, speaking of Zane, this is Zane Matthews. This what's is up? Mo, who just goes hey. by Mo now. <laughs> and She's I'm Dusty only Mo. Faust. Pitch perfect. Always. Always with that, Zane. Eh, it's never stopping. <laughs> so as I said at the top, uh, we have consulting hypnotist, coach and owner of the Tennessee Center for Hypnosis, Tiffany Snow in the building. <laughs> we have the owner of the donut shop that's right down the road from here, Brian Gentry. <laughs> uh, we have Fun With Friends members Ron Cornell and Brittany Bjork coming on to talk new member meetup. And we have a musical, musical performance, our first musical performance. I'm so, I'm so flustered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Can't even get it out. Kel Charney is in the building. Yeah. He, Let's go. Is, uh, he's going to perform uh, Find a Way from his album, Find a Way. Um, so, first off, before we get started, I want to thank Zane's company and sponsorship, Infinity Home Group. Yep, of uh, United Real Estate yeah. Solutions. They're the sponsor of this show and the last show, allowed us to buy a lot of uh, equipment that we needed to keep the, keep the train on the tracks and <laughs> everything, you know, improving more and more from one episode to the next. So, yeah. thank you, man. We really appreciate that. Well, we, we appreciate you guys. So. Um, and you got a good team. You got you, Jamin, like a bunch of people from the group. So yeah, yeah. I've got, I've actually. People. And Zane does his work, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been on a little streak. I just put a house under contract with Jamin this weekend. Yeah. That's pretty nice. awesome. So get to work with one of my buddies and uh, business partners. I'm always seeing my friends that I've met from the group. Uh-huh. I'm always seeing them with pictures of you all of a sudden. Like, they just <laughs> bought a house, and I'm like, I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah dude. That's, uh, yeah. I, I don't like to say I'm officially anything, but I, I get a lot of business. So. <laughs> Good man. Uh, also, speaking of your generosity, um, you hit up Cornhole this week with your phrase of the week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How did that go? Did they, did, did they how, like, how quickly it was did the drinks go? Like 10 minutes, and the game got paused. Like, games got stopped for, for people to get drinks. <laughs> yeah, so for, for drinks to get bought. Yeah. And what's funny is I went out to some other events, right? And, like, I had people, like, coming up and yelling the word at me, and I was like, Man, I've already, I've already hit my limit. Zane's word or phrase of the week yeah. is shutting up. Zane Matthews with the phrase of the week. All right, so um, we're changing it up a little bit this week. Yeah, we I like it. We have a new member meetup. So the way this is going to work is instead of the first five people, the first five members that bring a new, me a new member up to me uh, introduce me and tell me, something about the, that new member yeah i'm buying both y'all drinks so we're gonna do 10 drinks this week so i can't describe a stranger <laughs> somebody's not even in the yeah, drink they gotta be the, mo, yeah. look at mo man she's like mo's scheming over here i mean i gotta try i need a free drink you don't get free drinks i tell anyway. you what you no. hey but you grab the point grab a stranger and bring them into the group welcome them yeah in. Okay. if they join and yeah and then now they're part of the group that counts exactly right? no, uh but no but so so our new member meetup right like like it's it's a great time for us to to introduce ourselves to these people. Yeah. Right? Um, now I'm going to be a little bit late getting there because I've got to go. I got a volleyball championship. I got to go. Win. Yeah, volleyball championships so. are that night. So if you lose the championship, you'll be there earlier. <laughs> oh, listen, they're like here. He <laughs> so so just so y'all know, just so you know, there's a couple of um, 
players on different teams in the audience, they're like, oh, you're going out first round. Not happening, homies. <laughs> one seat, okay? That's all I got to say. Okay, you can be one it's seat all, all season say. long and still lose in the hey, championship. Exactly. That's all I got to say. You never know when it comes to the playoffs. I mean, look, I, I'm the, I try to bring tough competition and have fun. So, so anyway, stick around at New Member Meetup because, you know, yeah, wait for Zane I, to get there. I will be there. Um, but what is the speaking phrase of, of the week? Yeah, so they, they need to – they're, they're going to tell the new member the phrase, right? And then the new well, member is going to tell you? So, you know, we've got prom coming up. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to stay with that theme this week. Okay. Oh, is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's going to Vegas, yeah. Nah, legit, I'm going to Vegas. He's leaving us. He will not be here next week. No, I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to gamble a crap ton of money. Oh, yeah. See, that's why I can't go, man. I will ruin my with. life. It's, I will you know, ruin it's, my it's life all about Vegas. that count, right? So. My thing is I'm going to gamble till I'm winning, and then I'm going to forget. Well, so, so there's and a strategy to it, right? <laughs> so, well, there's a strategy to it. It's just got to stick to it in Vegas, right? Because while you're in Vegas, they give you free drinks, right? And they also oh. put, yeah. And they that's... put oxygen in so, like, you don't feel drunk. Yeah. And you, but you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't um, know any of that. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So what you do is like, like you put your thousand dollars out on the table, and every time you win, like money, you just make sure you only have a thousand. What you put on the table out there. Next thing you know, you got more money in your pocket than you do on the table. So Viva so, Las Vegas. Viva Las Get Vegas. Get a new member. Somebody that hasn't been to anything yet. Uh, thank you to all the. Uh, I hate to say old members. Active. Active members. Active Thank you. Well, I like calling Jamin an old member because he's, not you know. old members. I'm, we have a lot of members in our group that are not considered active. Thank you. So active, active members. members. Active members. Thank you guys for coming out and always helping us welcome everybody in because, uh, you know. Thank you for being that welcoming face. This is why we make these events to try to get people to the new members who are a little shy or, you know, anxiety or anything else to come out so we'll get into that later though um so let's talk bowling playoffs that was this past thursday there were some incredible games for that we d we did two divisions on uh this is something new we started with the top division that we usually do and then we had the bowling for shots division uh top division it came down to pin busters and scatter pins um and man that was a hell of a game it can't literally came down to you know what they needed two pins to win, and here's a clip of what happened. Let's go ahead and it cut was to that. Phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah, as I said, it came down to scatter pins and pin busters. Uh, scatter pins were the champs. Melanie bowled a hell of a game. She and I told you guys wrong. I, she got two pins to win. They needed eight to tie, nine to win, and of course she got that strike and they won the championship in incredible fashion. That's what I love to see. I mean, see. That, that's drama at its finest. That's what I love to that's see. That's like man. that's. I mean, that's up there with like bottom of the ninth, two outs, down by three, and hit the grand slam. Well, and that's the thing too, man. When, even I mean, when you're like the the opposing team, you can't hate on. Oh uh, no, you can't like, be mad just, about that. Yeah. Made a play. That's that. That was an incredible so, game. Good, I mean, good she, job to both teams. Yeah. Uh, great job to Scatter Pins. They are our first. Uh, returning champions. We've never had somebody win. We've never had somebody win the bowling championship twice in a row until now, and uh, it was very well deserved. Uh, we also had the uh, Here for Beer won the bowling for shots division, which the bowling for shots division, you get either a fumble friend shot glass, which you can only get it pretty much from bowling. I'm sorry, but that's, that's the only <laughs> way you're going to get it. Uh, you get it from bowling, and we're going to probably give them to the champs, too, next, next season. Yeah, yeah. So you get, you get your choice of that or 5% off next season. Nice. So, yeah, that's so a pretty good. So I can good. only win a shot glass if I bowl. If you bowl. And next season we're going to do it for both divisions, but the top division will get them etched while the lower division gets them just printed on. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. That's definitely better than five bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? That's a lot better it's than a, five Yeah, it's a cool shot glass, too. So another thing we had, we had Saturday, we had our very popular dog days. Yes. Uh, everybody loves this meetup. Uh, the good thing about this meetup too is it is more uh, intimate. You know, if you're nervous about big crowds, like, you, you know, 
you see some of the larger meetups. This is a good one for you to come to if you got a dog. Yeah, Bring them out. That's right. That's Jessica hosts those. So yeah. how did that go? It went great. We love it. We had a we always have a small group, um, but I'm doing them periodically, like every other week now. And um, the next one is going to be July 28th. It's a Wednesday night. We're going to try it for um, a week night after work because some people were saying that it was more convenient than you know, holding up their, their, their weekend to do it. And where do you usually so, do those at? We've been doing it at Concord, but we're gonna Concord. we're, we're gonna um, change that to, I think it's Tommy. Schubert? Yep, yep, I think that's over on your side of town. Yeah, it's oh, off yeah. this yeah. rifle range, that's right. and yeah. I'm trying to remember the red. So if you have a pup, bring them out. Yes, it's yes. fun, Jessica, it's fun. It's gonna be a great time. Yep. And Shadow's my dog, here's some pictures from the day. And yeah, one thing, best. one thing you've you've mentioned, Ron's mentioned it to me too, is every time you guys are out at this meetup, people see the shirts and they're yes. like, "What? What's this about? Like, let's get." Well, because yeah, so that's I, really cool. I have to. I'm walking up to people, yeah. basically asking them, "Are you with? Are you with fun with friends?" And if you are here for the meetup, we're here, you know. And then at that point, they're like, "What's going on?" You know. And I pull out my phone right away. Jackie saw me this week, so showing everybody. And like four people joined right there at the park. That's so. awesome. Super yeah. exciting. Yeah. Good job on yeah. that. And again, if you're a dog parent, you know this is this is for you. And like I said, if you're if the some of the larger events make you nervous, this is another good one to come out to. Yes. And if you're not a dog parent, come hang out, Absolutely, meet Jessica. Yeah. Come on, usually dogs. there. There's a Who bunch of other. Love yeah, dogs. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. Exactly, and that's that helps out with the awkward moment situation yeah. too. Dogs speaking make of, laugh better. Yeah. But speaking of awkward moments, you also did a. Ooh. Ooh, event, Jamin. Right? Oh, that's what we were kind of talking about with Jamin and Cindy, and you had a good turnout for that. Yeah, I'm not trying to call. I don't. I mean, mean, I love you guys. We no, we originally had I had 26 to 30 people coming, but because of the rain, I think, mm -hmm. or the thunderstorm warning, I think it kind of scared a lot of people away. Didn't scare but, Jamin. Um, no, man, Jamin came in a speedo. Jamin, wait, wait, do we, do have, we a have a clip? picture of that? Yes. We don't have a clip. No, no, no. But that go to the Fun with Friends page, like, and you can see Jamin and Cindy. And I mean, Jamin's got. I mean, he. Had on, they were they were speedos, but they looked like cut they off looked shorts. They like very Daisy extremely dudes. tight. Yeah, some yeah. Daisy yeah. dudes. Jeans I don't shorts. I don't think they were painted on. That, I mean, yes. I don't think Daisy booty, from yeah. Uh, Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, Dukes of Hazzard would wear those. No. So. I can't believe we don't have pictures. I'm gonna have to show them. Yeah, we, we do have pictures on the page. Yeah. yeah, go to the page. You know, you can. There's a search bar. You can actually type in. You you definitely know. came out and see yeah. that. Yeah. But you no. can't. <laughs> Anyways. But thanks, guys. I hope to see everybody or anybody who has a dog. Hey, thank you so next much. Next Wednesday, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you do a great you job, and thank you. you're a very valued member of the community. We love you. I love you, you guys. You're thank our, you. You're our friend. We thank love you. you. Love you thank guys. you for coming on. Um, so, Zane, prom tickets, man. Yeah, dude. Are you looking at comments? What yeah, are you I'm looking at comments. Um, so, Jackie Faust said, who's the owner? He's a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> and then Justin Mann said, Jackie, you talking about Zane? He's sexy AF. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it, that does happen. I get it, you know, all the time. Well, Jackie will be going to prom. Jackie will be? Jackie's, we're going to prom, yeah. Okay. Speaking of prom. Speaking of prom. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of prom, uh, so part of the reason I'm going to Vegas is to scout out some ideas for prom. All right. And you'll see pictures of me at casinos. Trying to be sober. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, so um, the theme is Casino Royale. Yeah, Casino year. Royale. We're going to have actual table set yeah, up. Yeah, we're actually going to have some table set up. Yeah. Uh, I think what we've got right now, we're going to have at least a um, roulette table. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking at blackjack. I told Dusty we need to get a poker table. We do have that. Yeah, we so got we that got coming. So we got a poker table. So, yeah. Um, and by the way, I have an announcement on that. All 200 tickets are sold out. Sold, sold out. It took out. three days. Three days. Three days and you all sold out so apparently, all tickets. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty big. It's right? going to be a party, man. Uh, and we got DJ, we got my buddy Ollie. What, what's the DJ handle? DJ Ollie. Oliver McIntosh, he's, he's, an, he's an OG in the group. He's done. Uh, we're going we to be taking no one out. So he's going to be DJing. We've got. Um, man, it's going to be a good night. Oh, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be an incredible time. I'm going to get my James we're gonna Bond have, on. Go. We're going to have a photographer. She, it's Bristol. It's Bristol weekend. I it's really Bristol, like, baby. Know. Racing. The last studio <laughs> audience is now mad at Mo because she's going to Bristol, baby. But okay, yeah. six months ago I agreed to it. I didn't know the date was going to be I the mean, same night. I'm not worried about it. I'd see, I get it. <laughs> so anyways, we're looking forward to that. That's going to be September 18th. And um, everything, I mean, you can't miss all the, the posts that I've made on the board about it. So no. 
Uh, look forward to that, you guys. Um, so, our first guest tonight. Uh, Tiffany Snow is not only a member of our community, but she is the owner of Tennessee Center of Hypnosis and has some very unique skills. She speci specializes in hypnotherapy. Uh, when I heard about this, obviously I had to ask Tiffany to come on the show and we had to figure out what this was all about. So without further ado, here is Tiffany Snow. I'm really nervous. Are you? Yes. I think you will. Don't be okay. nervous. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be fun. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. What a great group. Uh, first of all, I'm sure that you get a lot of people thinking right now that you're about to do some really crazy, like you're going to have us quacking like ducks and right? dancing. Or <laughs> no, okay. he, he, he definitely does not no. want to. You don't want to. No. So to start this, yeah. what kind of hypnosis do you do? Um, I do more of a clinical hypnosis, not stage hypnosis. Okay. So is that more like medical, making sure that everything is, your um, body's not feeling what you think it's feeling? Semi, yeah. So we do, um, we work with like fears, uh, pain management, yeah, symptoms of okay. anxiety or depression. Um, bad habits? Yes. Stuff like that, bad yeah. habits, performance. I work with athletes to okay. get over uh, to for performance enhancement or to get over maybe an injury or something like that. Um, sexual issues. That's a really fun one to work with and like okay. help, oh, help people so? with. <laughs> you I know. Mean, so, so first off, Homer Friends is an above 18 group, right? So yeah, no, you know. we're, we're all let's, adults here. Let's try to be That's a good. little bit, you know, grown yeah. up here, studio yeah. audience. <laughs> <laughs> No, if anybody that comes from, it's me, right? That's so what, what made you want to get into hypnotherapy? What? Um, I actually was pregnant with my third baby, and I had been a doula, which is a professional yes. birth pregnancy support right. person. I had been that for several years, and I wanted to have a really good experience and came across something called Hypno Babies, which is a program um, that couples do or moms do to learn how to use hypnosis to have a great birth. And I didn't realize that it worked until I pushed him out and I was I still had my headphone in and I was like, wow, that was amazing. No pain, no drugs, no nothing. You didn't know really? epidural or no, nothing. You didn't what? feel anything? No, nothing. What? I got to the hospital an hour uh, before I had him. Wow. Yeah. And my first baby was born by C-section. And then my second one, I had an epidural that didn't work. So yeah, I had two, yeah, yeah, I had two like really rough experiences, and I was like, no more of that. And then my fourth baby, I had at home using Hypno Babies yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. So and do you so, do that? So can you do it to yourself? Yeah. So all oh. hypnosis. One thing that that one uh, cool thing people don't know is all hypnosis is self hypnosis. Really? All hypnosis. It's all self, self. All of it. Wow. Because you have to make a choice to accept the suggestions okay, or not. So I could have clients that don't accept suggestions, you know. So it doesn't uh, work on some people because sometimes. of that. They're because, they because they're being hard-headed. If they don't accept it, it doesn't work. <laughs> so that means right. you can't make yeah. me quack like a duck. Right. Yes. You would have to accept that and want to do that. Okay, good. I was really scared. I've seen yeah. it. We've already so, seen it, Zane. We don't so I, I'm sorry to take the quack, magic out quack. of hypnosis for you, but that's even better magic, I think, because... So you know, doing it yourself I was going to say, how does this work with our brains? But that's kind of, I mean. Yeah. So every, um, every thought you have creates something called a peptide. And that peptide gets released. And your cells have receptors. And the peptides go into every cell in your body. So every thought you have sends a signal out and tells the cells what to do. Wow. So just oh, by wow. changing your thoughts, you change what you experience. Physically, and when we ex we we really create our reality I've from our thoughts. That, so I know, yeah, no, yes. Well, so, it's really cool. There's so much yeah. power like in the so you like, can like endorphins. And you can create a positive experience from nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mind over matter. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, it's really neat. Okay, so I was reading, and um, it looked like you started in the hypno babies area, yeah. and then you decided to expand in 2020. So, yeah. what made you decide to expand outside of the doula part of it? Yeah, um, I had been thinking about helping. I saw a need of helping men because I was working with women. I was working with couples and. Um, and I was like, man, I really would love to help more men. And then I would also love to help children, just more people, a, a wider range of people. And my husband was a butcher at Earth Fair. 
and they closed they they shut down right before the pandemic started so when that happened and then I had to quit watching babies and, and taking care of clients I was like you know what I'm just gonna do this when you saw how I could how much it helped you, you yeah you, thought this, you knew that this could help so many more people exactly you wanted, no, I get, because I had been teaching hypno babies for three years I, after I had my fourth baby I decided to start teaching that so I got certified to teach that and I'd already been doing that type of hypnosis um, as a practitioner mm -hmm. and so I just wanted to expand that and and help a wider range of people That's okay good. it's fun so, yeah I love it. It's like I've, I always tell people, there's so much power in our mind that we just don't oh, even yeah. like unlock. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's unpacked. Stuff oh, like yeah. this is just, yeah, it fascinates me. But yeah. yeah. What do you think the most rewarding part of your job is? Um, the most rewarding part is seeing people change their lives so quickly. Okay. Like so quickly. And in fact, the end of the first session, you can usually notice a, a difference in their face. Um, it's just more relaxed, there's more color to their face, they're happy, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, I love that feeling. And then when people come back um, for that next session, I always say, what changes did you notice? And they start telling me, well, not, sometimes they'll say, well, nothing really, but I did sleep better and I did make better mm, nutrition right. choices. And I'm like, those are the changes, but right. you don't have to like think about it. You don't have to uh, force yourself to do it or anything. It's just like a natural yeah. thing that your body wants to do then. Okay, so for anybody who's interested in getting you know, your program or getting to, in touch with you, yeah. how is the best way to get a hold of you? Um, Instagram is great. Okay. I'm at 10 Hypno on Instagram. Uh, my website is awesome too. www. You have a good website. 10hypno.com. Yes. Thank yes. you. A fellow hypnotist uh, has a design company and she made that for me. Oh, nice. And um, also look me, on, look me up on Facebook because yeah, I like to be personable. I love to be personable and just kind of relatable and, you know, I'm a person just like everybody else. Absolutely. So. Um, so you said that you, this, this is what's freaked out Zane. You said you have some like exercises or something. Yeah, for, I have a couple fun things we could do. Okay, let's do, do it. Something yeah. fun. Do, yeah. Is it just us or is it? Um, Can you hypnotize the crowd? Make them all quack like ducks. Oh, right. <laughs> That'd be fun. We should really do it to Jamin. <laughs> so yeah, this is a cool exercise that everybody listening can do um, as long as you're not driving, of course, if you're, you're driving. But so everybody just get comfortable in their chair. Um. Okay. And it just takes a moment. And go ahead and take a deep breath. And if you want to allow your eyes to gently close. And imagine or pretend you're at home in your kitchen. Look around the room at the sights and walk over to the refrigerator. And as you do, you may listen for the hum of the refrigerator or your footsteps on the floor. And open the door to the refrigerator. You may even feel the cool air come out across your skin. And whether you normally have one or not, today there is a lemon. So I want you to reach in and grab that lemon. Notice the texture, the shape, the size, the temperature. Take it over to the counter and take out the knife that you normally cut up fruits and vegetables with. And I want you to slice that lemon from end to end. And I want you to slice it again, creating a wedge. And bring it up to your nose. I wonder what that fragrance might remind you of. Now, take a big bite into that lemon. Feel and taste the tart and tangy juices squirt out on your teeth and your gums and your tongue. Feel the extra salivation and swallow and open your eyes. <laughs> so, a show of hands, who tasted the lemon? Yeah? I made a face. Did you make a face? Oh. Who? Did you smell the lemon? Yes. yes. Did yeah. you hear your footsteps? Yep. Or the I didn't fridge? hear my footsteps. I heard the fridge. Okay, but I heard the fridge. Yeah. You heard the fridge. Um, did you see things? I saw the lemon. Your, yeah. You saw the lemon. Okay. So basically what this shows is um, 
that shows what sense you have that is most dominant and you would want to use that to help you with things. So if it's like, if the sight was the most dominant or if the sense of hearing or smell was most dominant, we would use that in sessions to kind of enhance your experience. And then if you salivated, um, that is showing that from a thought, you had a physiological biochemical response to the thought of biting into a lemon. So whatever our mind possesses, our body expresses because your liver got ready for lemon, your stomach acid changed thinking you actually ate a lemon. Your body doesn't, your mind doesn't know the difference between reality or imaginary. It just knows what you're telling it, okay. your subconscious. So wow. that's how that works. That's Good really job. cool. Yeah, was that fun? Yeah. It was. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. Yeah, thank Again, you. if you want to find Tiffany Snow, she, you can find her in the group. You can look her up on Facebook. Yep. She gave her Instagram ha handle, her website, yeah. but again, the best way is probably just Facebook. Look in the group, yeah, Tiffany Snow. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Tiffany. Thank you guys. Hang tight for just a minute. Thanks. We will be thank right you. back with our next guest, Brian from the Donut Shop. Are we on break? Welcome back. Our next guest is Brian Gentry from The Donut Shop. Uh, the Donut Shop is Knoxville's best and newest artesian donuts, including some awesome gluten-free sensitive options. They are located right down the road from Gypsy Circus here uh, on the corner of Broadway and Lamar. You can't miss them. Um, they're the, the navy blue building, right? Yep. Yeah. That's right. Uh, you can also find them online and view some of their delicious menu items. Brian is the owner and he is here to showcase uh, some of the donuts and talk, talk a little bit about himself and his business. Looks like Zane has a Zane's ball. like, Zane can't wait. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Is there a way we can show the camera? I see Fruity Pebbles. I don't know if you all can see these, but oh man. Uh, you see the Fruity Pebbles? What's this one? Uh, that is lemon, one of our most popular flavors. Lemon. Okay, so yes. secret about me is I love uh, lemon candy. I see. Is this like an orange? Yeah. So that's the Orange Lotus Dreamer. Okay. Uh, sponsored by Gypsy Circus. Hey. Okay. Right. So we just dropped that on Saturday. It's very good. Okay. Awesome. So yeah. Uh, let me hold that up. That's all food porn. Uh, so we have uh, we have brownie batter in there, chocolate ganache oh. with sea salt. Ooh, ooh, uh, our gosh. scruffy city, which is a Nutella. It's a vanilla donut uh, with Nutella glaze, toasted wow. coconut. We finish it off with a caramel drizzle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah pretty good yeah, and what, this looks go like uh, just a uh, brown sugar yeah that's cinnamon sugar cinnamon sugar okay yep, little old school but it's very okay. good all yeah. right so we're gonna dig into these in here in just a minute so <laughs> uh yeah so brian so let me ask you this off the bat man what why donuts why not donuts i mean, <laughs> I mean why, yeah why not who, that's, who, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, who doesn't like donuts? Yeah, I mean, everybody likes donuts, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, out of these that we have in this box, and I'm, I'm sure this box is different, right? Yes. Okay, so yep. we've got a couple different options, but out of these, what are our gluten-free options here? So I didn't bring any gluten-sensitive okay, tonight. Okay, okay. Uh, but we usually offer anywhere between six and eight different flavors uh, for gluten-sensitive uh, okay. customers. Awesome. You know, That's really awesome. Now, do you make, yeah. uh, now, do you make the donuts to order in the shop? Uh, we make them uh, from scratch every day. Okay. Uh, they aren't made to order. We okay. pre-make everything for the day. Okay. Which is a lot of times why you see we, we sell out you know, yeah. pretty, yeah. You know, yeah. pretty early. Right? Yeah. So uh, so when we're out, we're out. Okay. Yeah. A lot of work goes into that. Yeah. I mean, you for can sure. tell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I mean, this, this isn't like going to Krispy so Kreme. Do you make every flavor every so. day? Um, for the most part, uh, occasionally we'll rotate flavors based on stock and inventory and things like that. But for the most part, uh, you know, what we have on our menu, we, we have to offer. Yeah. Okay. So when did you first uh, establish the donut shop? So we opened uh, in June of last year, uh, you know, right in the middle of a, of a world pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah I mean, it, was the, it yeah. was the best time in the history of the world to open up a business. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, and since when I started real estate, so I get it, man. I mean, right, yeah. Who so, doesn't yeah. want that challenge? No, nah, go make it <laughs> But you know what? You can make it through that. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we opened in, in uh, June of, uh, of last year. Uh, we celebrated our one-year anniversary on the uh, on the 13th of, oh, of June this year. Beautiful, so, man. Yeah, Congrats. Yeah, had, a, had an awesome day. Good job. So, yeah, it was fun. That's great, man. Yeah. That's awesome. So, what's your, okay, what is your personal favorite donut? 
So it kind of changes. Ooh, that's tough. Uh, yeah. Right now, uh, our maple bacon is probably oh, one of my maple favorites. Bacon is there, hold so on. Good. Let's no, see. It's, it's, oh, you didn't bring yeah, me maple bacon? Okay. Nah, All right. So, so here, here's something else to know. Like, like bacon is the candy of gods, right? Agreed. Like, like it, you've God. never heard that? That's, no, that's incredible. It's true though. <laughs> so, what is Benton's bacon? I mean, that's literally that's God's bacon. Yes. So that's what it is. So we put God's bacon on our maple bacon donut. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A, yeah, and it's maple syrup on there too. Yes, it's amazing. Oh. Yes. Sounds like I know what I'm doing for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. So, so how, do you, how do you even come up with all these inventions and these different kind of donuts? What, what inspires it? Like, is there a group of people or is it just you? Uh, no, it's honestly, it's life experience, man. Yeah. Like, um, you know, like our Boston cream. Uh -huh. You know, I went I went up to Boston about three or four years ago. Went to the to the place where the uh, you know the Boston cream pie originated. Right. And I was like, man, that would make a really good donut. <laughs> I mean, and you know, uh, Gypsy Circus. You know, the uh, uh, the uh, orange lotus streamer yeah. that uh, you know that we dropped on you know on Saturday. Uh, you know, we infused our buttercream with the Gypsy uh, the uh, lotus streamer cider. Uh, so just life experiences have. You know, inspired funny, our flavors it's funny too because we we tasted some samples last week yeah. and i had that one and i was like man this would be a good donut it's that one right is there. it that you yes. got it it's very good <laughs> okay cool. and jason was like it, it's funny you say that because <laughs> it is yeah so is it only you creating new options or are there all other people that create new donut options uh, it's collaborative you know uh, i have a list of about maybe 100 to 150 flavors that you know will you know uh, try or roll out, you know, over the next probably couple years. Uh, but uh, our employees have a lot of fun with it. Okay. Uh, my daughter has a lot of fun with it, you know. So, uh, you know, we just let let our employees kind of kind of help out and, and you know and inspire us, you know, to you know to make new flavors. How, yeah. how many employees do you have? Uh, we have nine right now. Wow, good yeah. job, man. Yeah. And how That's often great. do you change that flavor? Like, what's on the menu? So uh, it's pretty seasonal. So you know, every three or four months, uh, you know, as the seasons change. Uh, you know, we uh, will release new flavors, but then, you know, as, you know, certain events come up during that time, we'll also do like, you know, some, you know, some special things. So, uh, you know, we'll do some things for the 4th of July, like we have, uh, you know, some back to school events, you know, coming up for, uh, for, you know, elementary, middle, high school, college students, uh, you know, so we got some big things, you know, planned, uh, you know, planned for them. Um, you know, we're, we, we're dropping something pretty big here in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about that. So you'll just have to You can't talk about no, it. No, <laughs> no. I mean I could, but you no, know don't ruin yeah, the surprise. Yeah, no, no. no. So uh, you'll just have to check it out on Instagram or you know Facebook uh, you know when we when we release that. Speaking uh, of so the donut shop on Facebook. Yep. Same for Instagram? Yeah it's the donut shop Knox. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, follow us on on either one of those platforms. And guys yeah. you want to because it's like I said, it's food porn. Oh, it's I'm about to dig into one of these. So hey, but speaking like, of, let's hold on. I know no, you're hold on. Kill, one more, que one more question. One more question. One more question. One more question. Let them sample it. Absolutely. I want to steal one of them though. Um, so last question. So so you're seasonal, like like you're inspired by a lot of different things. You know, UT football, we just got a new coach. So I think we should have a donut for, for the new coach. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think I think that I think I'm just throwing an idea out there, right? Like like that can happen, or like a Tennessee donut, like a big orange donut. Is it gonna taste yeah. like failure? Well, I mean, it should taste <laughs> like winning, just winning and success, you know. So that was awesome. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, the baseball team did great. Come on now. Yeah. No, uh, baseball so, and, yes. and football are two. Very well, so things. so, but but we're I'm in a horrible Nashville. athlete, so I have no yes. room to talk. I mean, look, we're, we're in Knoxville, and, and and believe it or not, the the football team drives a lot of the economy, right? Yeah, it when, really does. When Tennessee when Tennessee is good at yeah. winning, the that's economy is better. True. Yeah. That's very and, true. And that's and so so you know you have people at tailgate, and guess what? We're gonna be able to tailgate for football this year. Yep. So yep. when we get these early morning games, why not have some donuts to go with it? Yep. That's absolutely a good idea. Yep. So so that's what I'm saying. Right. So let's yep. you know, just kind of bring some. Well, we will we will have Vol donuts on okay. Saturdays from September to November. But you're absolutely right. As the Vols win, sales increase. And exactly. They don't. You know. So uh, come by the next day and pick them up. For <laughs> <price>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it is what it is. But I'm just saying. So like like. So what are your hours of operation? Uh, so um, Monday through Thursday, we are 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, we are open uh, until 7 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Man, he's not even playing. No, I'm taking that one. Yeah. I'll give that to him. Yeah, and, I was, was going to uh, run over there. And, and Sundays, yeah, Sundays yeah. 8 to 2. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, he, look, he's going to. Over the table. 
They're going to kill you, Zane. And hey, we got some more for you guys, too, so don't worry. Yeah, I've got um, another box. You got so, yeah, it. like we said, find them on social media. Find them in the shop. Come by, get some donuts. Support local guys. Uh, like he said, right, go you know, ahead. he's got nine employees. Nah, he's That's a beautiful thing for a local uh, small business. Yeah. Like, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. Thank you for coming on to the show. We really what appreciate you. Have, Zane? Huh? Oh, let's see. What, what is, oh, let's see what's what in this box. Okay. Take it away. Oh, oh, that's a whole other. Oh, what we is got that? another lemon. Oh, this is another oh, one of the chocolate. Oh, Hold on, what's? Shit. What is that one? Yeah. Uh, that is our. That is a. Uh, that is a Mahalo Mocha Latte Donut. Oh my. So what? it's a coffee glaze that's infused with Mahalo. Yeah, I'm gonna get over uh, to the, the local roaster here in Knoxville. Kill, so. <laughs> yeah, the audience is sitting there looking at me. If you like coffee, that thing is amazing. I think you might have just it. Yes. You better get one. All right, guys, here you go. Pass it around. <laughs> so the audience is loving the donuts, man. You did a good job. We really appreciate you being on today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate absolutely, it. Yeah, man, these man. look absolutely amazing. Uh, again, you can find the donut shop located at 724 North Broadway. It's at the corner of Broadway and Lamar. Uh, again, thank you, Brian. Thank you for coming on. Stop in, get you a dozen donuts, and support local. Uh, so our next guest I've been very excited about this, guys. Uh, it's our first musical performance on the show. Our buddy, and he's in the group as well, Kel, Kel Charney is on to perform Find A Way from his album, Find A Way. Take it away, brother.
find a way Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, man. Great good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, man. Thank you for coming thank on. Thank you. Thanks, really for me. You, Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So, when did you start, start performing? Uh, I started performing. I picked up a guitar about seven, eight years ago, but mm -hmm. I picked it up kind of late. I picked it up like in my like early twenties. I uh, started really hitting the open mics probably about three years ago. And then I uh, started doing some shows and stuff like that over the last two years. Pandemic really yeah. kind of derailed that a little bit. But I was living in Florida uh, the last couple of years, and it was pretty wide open down there. So I kind of, uh, you know, I played some shows down there even amidst the pandemic and moved up here in, um, in January of this year. And that's a, that's an original song. Did you write that? Yeah, I wrote that. Good I wrote job. A lot of other songs that I that I wrote, and I just that's a song that's on my album, "Find a Way" title track. Uh, just came out on Friday. Yes. Or la uh, not this last Friday, but the one before. And I'm already getting started on the next album. I just have a lot of songs on deck. That's and beautiful, man. A long time to do it, so I'm just kind of. Yes, it's a passion, and yeah, you yeah, you yeah, yeah, built up, and now you're. Yeah. You're wanting to get it all out for everybody to enjoy. Um, so what was the inspiration on, for Find A Way, the album? So the, al the album, it's funny because we were, when I, was re when I was taking the batch of songs I wanted to do, Find A Way was a song that I was in the middle of writing at the time. And I wasn't even going to include it on the project and definitely not titled the project that. But <clears throat> the pandemic hit and I had this little thing, Find A Way, and I kind of mm -hmm. tried to spin it and turn it a little bit into not just me finding my way geographically and as like a young it. man, but also, you know, we're going to find a way as yeah. a people, as like a literally as a species through this pandemic. So I kind of try to tailor it at the end to kind of say like, we'll find a way through this. We have no idea what it is or what to expect. But so I kind of threw it on as a last minute addition and then it kind of just grab hold of like the rest of the project. That's one of the beautiful things about music and that I personally enjoy about it is that everybody can interpret a song and get something from it that's yeah. more personal, you know. Yep. Whatever you meant for it, somebody else might take something else and that's what I love, man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you talked about your album, just came out this past Friday. Where can everybody find that to go listen, download? So it's on, it's on all platforms right now. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, it's on, because uh, until recently, I didn't even pay for one of those streaming services, so I used to just watch everything on YouTube. It's on YouTube. If you hey. type in my name, there'll be the album that'll come up, you know, video by video, song by song. It'll be on there. It's on, um, yeah, it's on Spotify, Apple. It's for, available for purchase on Amazon. Pretty much anywhere that you would want to consume music, it's available. Um, there's eight songs on the album. It's a short album, 30 minutes, perfect for like a car ride. <laughs> Um, I think the, and that's a good the, the, car ride song, yeah. The group of songs, I think, go together pretty yeah. well. It's got a real Americana, country folk kind of thing to it. I love it, man. Um, and, yeah, excited to just start playing more and, you know, promoting that group of songs and working on the next batch. Speaking of, so where could we find you? Uh, are you? Do you have any live performances coming up? I just had a couple this past weekend. Yeah, you tell I, me about I, that. I have a little like break that. right now. My next like uh, show isn't until... Uh, August 7th, I'm playing at the Calhoun's in Lenore City on the, hey. on the water, which is a good spot. That is a very good spot. And then on the the 15th and the 28th, I'll be at Hay Bear Cafe. Which wow, isn't, I thought, which yeah. isn't too far from here. Hay Bear's cool. Six to eight, both of those nights. And then the other, the one at Calhoun's is six to nine. If you could check me out on social media too, Instagram, Facebook. Yes. I always post all my upcoming shows on there and what I have going on. Um, and just really excited to be here with you guys, and thanks so much for, for the opportunity. Kel, brother, thank you, that. man. It was yeah, beautiful, man. It was a great, you. great performance. Hey, thank you. Hey, Kel. Check thank out you. Kel Charney. Hey, Kel. Thank Kel. Kel. So, so, so before you go, um, you got, I think you need to talk to Jason. I think they're going to try to book you here some, too. So. Jason oh, and Kel. Like Jason right, right there. That sounds yeah, so, you so, you, so you'll be able to check. You'll be able to catch Kel here soon. So Good job, my friend. Thank you. Thank you to Kel. Check out the album. Good stuff. You want to download all eight tracks, support him. Now we're going to kick it back over to Zane and Mo and Brittany and Ron for the weekly week to come. Thank you, man. Like really appreciate all, right. You. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the week to come, what's up, guys? 
Uh, so let's let's talk about what's coming up. Um, so so tonight we had cornhole and we had uh, the Killer Queens League, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a Killer Queen meetup tonight? Yeah. Yes. It's a social. Leo okay. is social. live right now. Yeah, so Le Leo was Leo was running it. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so so that was tonight. Tomorrow we've got um, cornhole and a social mixer. Uh, Hexagon Brewery starts at six thirty. Usually goes to about nine. Uh, wear your foam a friend shirt. You get a dollar off pints. Ooh. So that's not bad. Um, you may have to remind them though. They have a lot to remember. Just say, hey, can I have the fun with friends discount? And they're super nice about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to add that in there. It's literally what they say. Yeah. Yeah. I had the hiccups, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I've been, look, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway down. So Wednesday, we've got the volleyball playoffs, y'all. This is our first Woo! season of volleyball. Look at that trophy. This is a beautiful trophy. Um, so volleyball playoffs are happening Wednesday night. And after the playoffs, so those are at Victor Ash Park, by the way. You want to get there. Thank you to Carly Creekmore. You Come watch me win down. this trophy. <laughs> Zane is very confident. <laughs> Eric says no. Nermeen Come says no. Roxy says trophy. no. Wait. Check out the... Check out the playoffs, and after that, you want to stop in to our monthly new member meetup. We do this once a month. Um, it's every Wednesday. Uh, we, we typically do locations that, you know, hold hands with fun with friends, uh, give them some love back. It's a great thing. We, I originally made the new member meetup uh, in 2019, and the whole point is exactly what it's called. It's to welcome you into the group because I've been the person where – the anxiety has kept me from coming out. Uh, I've been in my car driving someplace and I've turned around and went back home and regretted it later and felt different ways about myself. So I've also been the person that I've went and put myself out there to just sit in the corner and nobody really interact with me. So we try to take all that into consideration. We create a very welcoming atmosphere and a vibe and we just want to get to know you. That's the purpose of this group, why it's here is to uh, have you find your place, your people, your voice, uh, become active in the community, all the good things. So please come out to New Member Meetup, and we have Brittany and Ron here who are avid helpers with New Member Meetup and, and big faces of the group uh, to talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm going to put down this trophy really fast. Let me just go ahead and hold that for you. Uh-oh. Is it okay? Let me go ahead and hold no, that no, for no, you. No, no, no. Let me go ahead and hold that for you. His ego is already no, too big. No. I can barely sit up here, okay? Come on. So, Brittany, first of all, um, when, uh, when and where, what time is the new member meetup? So, new member meetup this month is at Skybox this Wednesday Whoop. at 7 yeah. o'clock. Starting at 7. You don't have to be there at 7. We'll typically be there until... Close. Late in the yeah. night. And so um, don't feel like pressure to be there on time. We do have these. <laughs> there they go. Name there tags. We have these very nifty name tags. And that are now in the floor. I'm loving that that was on live. And all I, I mean, have was to classic. say. Here, it's about to go on the screen here. Ready? Right? <laughs> there it goes. Stop. And a replay. <laughs> we got a replay. So. If you're worried about being more awkward than me, you're not going to be so you're fine that's uh, just what Brittany does so, I, so that you feel comfortable coming out she'll do those things I didn't do that on <laughs> so why do we, we we need the the name tags because that way you can remember who's who and some people you're not great with remembering names like right. me it also I have noticed so I've been to new member meetups without the name tags and I've been to them with the name tags it also allows you to walk up to a stranger who has a name tag on and be like hey this is who I am in the fun with friends group and not be awkward of like I've walked up to complete strangers and been like, hi, are you here for this? And they're not. And they're nope. like, no. So <laughs> this, this gives us a way to no, who walk is up who? to new members yeah. and introduce ourselves and talk to you guys and let you guys know that we're here because we want to make friends. And especially Man. you're you're looking out for certain members in the group that have shirts on, but then you're like, who are the other new members in the group? And so these name yes. tags really give you an ease to be like, well, hey, did you see Brittany fling those name tags across for, and I, oh yes I did, and then that's something you can talk about, and it's just like you see the name tags and it just brings you in. So find to, Brittany to get a name tag, she'll write your name on it all, I won't uh, throw Brittany them like. At you. She'll oh, probably throw them on she she that. She'll, she'll put nice artwork on it for you occasionally. Nice she so has definitely be better artwork, artwork than me. So Ron, I talked about it a little bit, but you know why are the the new member meeting? Like why do we put so much focus on on this? 
Well, it's, just, it's like you said, uh, when you're new to the group and as, especially as big as this group has gotten, sometimes it can be really intimidating about coming out to, to any event, even when it might be small and you don't know anything. So we put these together so that people who are new can come and meet other people who are new and basically everybody can be awkward socially together. Uh, and come in like and meet people. Because, um, like, even some of us who have been in the group for a while, sometimes social situations, uh, especially with large groups, can still be awkward for us. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah. just kind of comforting. We all kind of band together as groups, you know. Uh, so, like, some of the active members. Active. Thank active you. is active a good word. Active. Active. You hear that, Damon? Active, not old. old. <laughs> um, active members still kind of rely on each other as, uh, as kind of like. Uh, props and moral support for meeting people but it's just great for us to be able to go hey you're new to the group we want to bring you in uh we want to talk with you tell you more about the group if you got questions um basically just have a good time and meet new peaks and the, the a good thing too is all the people on this stage are really good buffers <laughs> we're very good with you know open up conversation introducing you to other people and Absolutely. keeping that flowing so find any of us there again that is going to be at skybox at 7 p.m skybox is downtown knoxville uh, by the time we start for the night, parking should be free downtown at that point, right? Yeah, yes. yes. yeah you can park after anywhere free. After 6 p.m. it is. If, you don't, if you're not sure where to park, you're not too familiar with downtown, find State Street Garage. That's a good place to State to Street. It. State Street's a yeah. great yeah. garage Street, to park and then at. Walk right over. It's safe, yeah, if you go up to the and third there'll be floor multiple of people State there. Street Garage, you can walk right over, and it leads you to, like, Black Horse and all that stuff. You'll get right to Gay Street, and it'll be right there. And by the way, so the event says Mirage. Skybox and Mirage are in the same location. Mirage is downstairs. It is a hookah bar. If you're into that, you could always go down there. Yep. We'll be at Skybox mainly, though. So that way, everybody can find us very easily. Yep. Um, and Skybox is kid friendly as well. Yes. So if you have children, you. bring them on. Um, so one thing, a little history about the new member meetups. When we first started having it, you know, we were a much smaller group. And I would offer to buy any new member that came out a drink. And now Zane, with the word of the week, is offering the same thing. So yeah, well, I'm, sure. I'm offering basically ten, right? Yeah, he's so, offering ten drinks. So, so any um, active member, new member. So, yeah. so active members go find a. New Come member. find me well, really quick so when you get also there. Also means new members find an active member yes. to get yes. you a free drink. You'll Make sure you got drink. that word of the week, though. I'm easy to spot. I've got a beard, so just find me really quick. Okay? Ron really wants me to buy him alcohol. And we'll stand at the me front too. door and so grab Zane as soon as he comes in. Like uh, we'll tackle him. We'll grab it. his credit card out of his wallet. So, we'll have her drinks all night. Zane, what's that phrase of the week again? Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Viva. Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. All right. Go. So what do we got going on uh, later in the week? After Wednesday. After Wednesday. We don't have anything Thursday. Thursday well, nothing is open. Will, yeah, Thursday's open because bowling is currently Yeah, bowling's right done. Um, what's Friday? Friday. Friday we have Hoedown, Throwdown, Karaoke, hosted by Eric Schwartz. Back at Skybox. Ooh. Back at Skybox. Again. Oh, this is... um. They have their karaoke, karaoke Idol kicks off uh, Thursday night. I saw this last uh, last time. I was that two Saturdays ago. It was, and they were doing like it was two. That, that was the, that was the that championship. Was there's, there's, yeah, yeah, for a hundred bucks. But um, a former friends member won it too. So, yeah, Kat, yeah, yeah, Cat won, Kat. which was I, which which all, by the way, she, I, she's a reigning champion of it anyways, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but um, but this time they've upped the stakes. It's a five hundred dollar winner take all of karaoke idol which i think it's over a couple weeks it's not just like oh, yeah, yeah it's not. Not so you thing. enter and you you come back a few which by the way it's, uh, five weeks five, yeah, weeks, so total. five weeks do you have to be there every no, week to oh so every week you gotta so so yeah so every week Okay, so okay. look, what night is is Cat coming? Because I'm going to enter, but I don't want to be there when Cat's there. <laughs> so, but what? So, so here's the question. Sorry, Eric knows a, little, knows a little bit more about this. He's off stage, so we're throwing the questions at him. Um, if you win week one, are you eligible week two to win? No. No. Okay, so once you win, you're in. So, okay. So okay. week one, the winner of week one goes to finals. Week two, the winner of week two goes yeah. to finals. So I was going to go this Friday. So, so, so basically, we're kind of doing like like uh, The Voice and American Idol yeah, locally. Baby. That's really okay. cool. That's actually yeah. really cool. 
Um, also, um, Jackie, oh, Sierra, Sarah Rowe just said she hates me, or hearts me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, shit, okay, it's, it happens. It's a love-hate thing sometimes. Uh, but, uh, Jackie, Jackie said, uh, it's Sierra's birthday, and Sierra's here. Sierra, is it your birthday? No, it's... Oh, it's prom, prom day is your birthday. Yeah, okay. Uh, prom is Sierra's. Taylor. Okay. Taylor and Sierra's birthday. So I just, because if it's your birthday, we were going to we sing. We were about to sing. Yeah, that's Seriously. so, yeah, like. Which, by the way, we're talking about Skybox. Uh, if you're not sure where Skybox is, everybody, I feel like, knows where Cruise Farm is. It's yeah. literally a few steps down from that. Yeah, yeah. So, it's right next to Sutri's also. Yeah, yeah Sutri's, so, that's a great little bar, too. Yeah, so what, what is happening, uh, what do we got Saturday? Um, so Saturday, July 24th, we have the monthly brunch meetup at Peros. Is that how you say that? Peros yeah. on, on the Hill. Peros on the Hill. Um, and that's hosted Pero. by Julie Catlin this month. So it starts at 11 a.m. So look for Julie. Um, she should probably be in a purple shirt if I'm guessing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not. Her, I could be wrong. That's her jam. Um, but Julie's hosting that. So I look for her. I will say that that is a great place to eat. I've been there before. It's right by my house. And I... Yeah. Fantabulous job. Great job. So, and then so Sunday, July 25th, we have our typical Sunday fun day with uh, softball at 11 a.m. If we don't get rained out, I'll tell you what, it poured like that, yesterday. Oh we that were soaking was wet. such a crap show. I mean, it, it started it raining fun. and did not stop. Yeah, it was oh, like, well, not, at first it was manageable. And then my, all of a sudden, well, out of nowhere. I went just, and watched some yes. of the kids kickball, and like, I got rained on there, and like, yeah. When I got to my car, like my shirt was like. No. We oh, literally, like, no, no, no. Dusty and I were out there again. in the middle of the pouring rain. We had people carrying our tents to get our electronics back to our car. Yeah, yeah. it was awful. I was so. It was fun. Yeah, I, like, I don't mind it the rain. Was a lot of fun. I had a good time. It was I love fun with there. friends. Hey, uh, but that ride home was really cold. Very yeah, cold. I had to turn. I turned my heated seats on. Yeah, like my shoes, like my socks were wet. In my cold. shoes. Yes. So oh. yes, we have uh, 11 a.m. kicks off softball. It goes on until I think the last game wraps up around 5 p.m. Uh, regular adult kickball starts at 2 p.m. and it last game wraps up about 7 p.m. I think. Six or seven typically. Yeah, yeah, and then we have the kids kickball league that goes from one until about six. I man, think. that's so much fun watching it. Yeah, too. I love like, it, man. And my kids are involved in it too. And by the way, if you have kids, you want to get involved. We have two divisions: six to nine-year-olds and ten to fourteen-year-olds. You can still sign them up. It's still okay. Like, I mean, we're just out there having fun. We um, talk about having like a, cl a kickball clinic. That's a good idea for new yeah. people. You for, for the kids or for yeah you? for the kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And just see like a day of them playing. I'd say we have it for the adults like, too, though. Yeah, for I mean, there's a lot of people. Some adults I mean, that's, need it. I mean, I don't, it is I mean, very I don't important care, to like, like, I don't care to help adults either, but I think it'd be really beneficial <laughs> yeah. for the kids because watching that, like, like they know what they're doing, but man, like you can teach them some just little techniques. They're like, getting that would it. Be, yeah. No, I know, but you know, it's like so. I said though. The kids are, you know, you a lot Even of if them. They lose. They think they. They think they. Oh yeah, but still, just you know. Yeah. So then we Monday we have the. Dart tournament, you know more about yes. that, so you talk about so, that. So Monday, July 26th, we're having another Fun With Friends dart tournament. Basically what you do is you come, you sign up, I'll be there to take money, write everybody's names down. It's a $10 cash buy-in. And then as soon as you, we have as many dart players as we start, we will do a random draw to see who your partner is. And so it, that kind of evens out the playing field a little bit. New people could be set with a pro or, you know, there could be two new people or two pro people. It just depends. It's all random. So that helps with that. And we, um, the game setup is usually 501 and then 301 and then cricket. If you're not familiar with any of those games, come out. We'll show you how to play. We'll teach you, you know, where to hit on the board, what numbers you need to hit. Um, there's a lot of good people that are willing to help along the Very way. Very good people, yeah. Um, and there's also, if I remember correctly, five different ways to win money at the end of the night. So it's definitely a good thing to come out. Um, just because you didn't win first place doesn't mean you don't go home with money. So it's a, it's a fun time. I Absolutely. came and like it was like two Monday, three Mondays ago. I don't know, but and I suck at darts. Like I'm the one that like will throw it into the wall, and I had a lot of fun. So please come out, even if you're not good at darts. It's a lot of fun, and Mo is incredible. To and me, we do so. get we get a discount at Union Place yes. too. Thank you guys to Union Place. And, and thank next you for week, us to use that space. well, and also next Monday, I'm gonna be gone. 
Ron's I will be not be a token because I will be sitting where Zane yep. is sitting. Yeah, so, Ron will be filling Ron in for will be me. Help us co -host next week. He will be Zane. Lord help everybody. Oh, I'm God. excited. <laughs> That's you say that fun. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, that's our show for today. I want to thank Brian, Tiffany, Kel. I want to thank our amazing crew, uh, Hank, Woo! Adam, Christian, Woo! Preston. Uh, I want to thank Zane, Ron, Brittany, Mo, Jessica, and our, our live entire audience. live studio audience. Jamie thank for being you. the <laughs> Love y'all. Jason, uh -oh! Jason. Yeah. And Jason! Yeah, we're very Jason! Yeah, yeah. Thanks for Jason's having us, birthday's man. coming up soon. I want everybody's asses here. Yeah, to we, uh, happy he's birthday. at 80s party. His Early. birthday, yeah, 80s party for his birthday. Uh, we're going to try to be live outside for that, aren't yeah. we? As long as it's not raining. Um, Christian, it's going to be loud, Christian's though. Like, we're going to have to get some. I know, we're just going to hate like, us. Um, he's so already loud. told us a couple times, like, I don't know if I want to do this, uh, <laughs> but we're going to do it. So we'll make it happen. All right, y'all, you know the drill. Until next week, good night, friends, and have a fun week. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye.